That's an absolute secret tip here. And I take you with me on a nice walk from Lugano to Gandria. Hola mundo, we are Nina and Marcus, two Swiss adventurers who share with you all Switzerland has to offer. And from time to time, we take you with us to explore this wonderful world. Hola mundo, welcome today to Lugano. It is the 1st of July and I have to say this is the real first hot summer day. Ticino especially has seen some immense rainfall lately. Uh, first it was just a lot of rain, it was okay, but then there were some landslides at two different locations. Some people died, a lot of houses were destroyed, a lot of streets were destroyed, so it was really a disaster. Luckily, where Casa Olamundo is, in the south of Ticino, nothing happened, just a lot of rain. Uh, it was not so bad like in the north, but of Ticino, I mean, but it was really bad. So today I take advantage of this wonderful weather and I take you with me on a nice walk from Lugano to Gandria. And on the way back, I hope we can catch a boat because there is nothing as great as taking a boat trip on Lake Lugano. It's really amazing. So um, I'm currently at Lugano Castagnola and this is a bit of an up-class area of Lugano. It's super nice. There are a lot of shops, also some high-rise buildings. And from here there is the Sentiero dell'Oliva. And this olive walk goes to Gandria and I will take this walk. It's a bit crazy, it's a bit hot, it's midday, but anyway, this is supposed to be super beautiful and that's what I will do today. So I would say, let's go. Here in Castagnola, you really have some upmarket hotels like this one. When you walk to from the Con Hotel in the direction of Gandria, so following this Via Riviera, you will come across this little park behind me on the right side. And just opposite of it, our Sentiero dell'Oliva starts. You can have a swim here because you have an amazing view over the Bay of Lugano from here. And it's public, so you can swim here. You quickly gain some altitude and after four or five minutes you leave all the noise of the streets behind you and you have these amazing views over Lugano and some pretty cool buildings like apartment buildings right on the cliff. That's, I mean living there is like the top notch of Lugano. It's really amazing. The views you have from there, wow. You walk past million Swiss franc villas, all in lush tropical vegetation. There are a lot of farms and fig trees and whatever. Really cool. But I have to be honest, I can't get over these villas here. It's, it's beyond amazing. Here in Ticino, always explore left and right because this is where the amazing thing, things are coming. So just opposite this 
tower little one on the left side there are some stairs going down so I just walk them down and look where I end up on the lake Further on you come along the Bali Foundation which is right on the lake shore and the entrance is for free so let's have a look at the park This is an absolutely amazing spot, which I didn't expect at all. I didn't even know this exists. You can enter the park, you can swim. There's even a public toilet, which is clean. There's no infrastructure. So if you come here, bring your picnic, but you can jump in the lake, lay down on the ground and enjoy this amazing scenery. And in the back, the very, very back mountains are already the mountains of Lake Como. So, what a spot. That was an amazing break at the lake, but I was eaten up by mosquitoes. So if you come here, bring always your mosquito spray. So now I will continue my walk to Gandaria. Just here behind me you see the Lido San Domenico where you can have a swim, something to drink, a shower. Pretty nice here, pretty chill. And here the olive trees start really blooming. So if you want to stay overnight in this region, like on the Sentiero di Gandria or Sentiero dell'Oliva, you can stay at the mini hotel, how it's called, Elvezia. It's super beautiful, really picturesque, right on the lake and on this path. reached Gandria. Here is a short map. So I started around here in Lugano. I walked to Castagnola, I climbed up here and here down there was the foundation valley. So I walked all the way now to Gandria. 
So if you are in this region, you have to walk along here. It's really super amazing. If you walk straight from Castagnola, it's a bit more than one hour. Or you do it like me and you stop at each single park and look at the water and go left and right. So you have a bit more like two hours. But it's for all fitness levels. You can go in flip-flops or sandals or whatever. So it's really easy walk and it's super amazing. So, and now let's go and explore Gandria. Gandaria is built right on the shores of the lake and some parts are built on stilts and there are small alleyways and it's super picturesque and you cannot enter by car so when you come with the car outside there's a big parking or you come by boat then you go over the lake or you come like me now walking. You see the birds up there? They are nesting in the small basket. Here we are at the church. If you feel like supporting us, if you like our videos, we would be very, very happy so we can afford a nice coffee that keeps us going or a ticket for the boat to make more of these videos. Thank you very much for that. We really appreciate that. Find the link up here. Here in the very back we have Porlezza. That's already Italy because right after Gandria you have the border.
basically Gantria is very small. You quickly can explore all the alleyways, you can visit the church, go in one of the grottos or restaurants and you have seen it really quickly. But in combination with the nice walk from Lugano and a boat ride, it's really an amazing thing to do here. We can highly recommend that. It's really nature and the lake is so stunning. So you have to do this when you are around Lugano. Thank you.